I want to share with you a, a skill that's it's kind of lost today, and it's so handy. I've made a, a couple of videos in the past, but I'll, I'll just throw another one at you. Uh, in ancient times, that is before the Industrial Revolution, when cheap metal and uh, cheap metal fasteners became available, it was said that the whole world was held together with rope. And to know just a handful of knots, if you know five knots, uh, rope will become indispensable again for you. It's so easy to secure a load where everybody else is fighting into. If you just know five basic knots, you can uh, secure anything. Let me show you. Instead of having large amounts of rope on hand, I like to keep my rope lengths in, you know, 12 foot or 16 foot lengths. So the first one that I'm going to show you is called the sheet bend. And that's just in case you need a rope that's longer than 12 or 16 feet. And the way to do that is simple enough. Take your rope and create what they call a bend in it. Okay, just take the end of the rope and bend it over. Okay, take your other rope that you want to join it with and feed it through that loop you just made. Okay, bring it around and through to the side. And you just joined two ends of a rope. That is a great knot to know. And it, by having 12 foot and 16 foot lengths instead of 50 or 100 foot lengths, uh, it makes it manageable. Let me show you another knot that's uh, handy. This is called a square knot. Everybody is kind of familiar with this. Uh, if you have two ends of a rope and you want to join them together, simply take the right end of the, the rope and cross it over. Okay, bring it around. And then left over right. That is a square knot. That's how you tie the two ends of a rope together. Again, let's do it again. It's right over left and then left over right and that makes a square knot. Okay, that's two out of five, and they're very simple. The next knot is called a clove hitch. And a clove hitch is wonderful to, uh, say you have a trailer and you've got the uh, angle iron on the edge of the trailer, and you want to uh, secure the end of the rope to that angle iron. How would you do that? You do that sometimes, if you choose, with a clove hitch. That's when you take it and wrap it around that bar and you wrap it around again and you see that X right there? That's where you're going to take this and slide it through the X. That is a clove hitch. That is an excellent way to start your rope around an angle iron on, a, a, say, a trailer. Now, don't get me wrong. There are lots and lots of knots 
but really five basic knots and you can pretty much do anything you need to have done. The next one is called a bowline or a bowline knot. It's often used for rescues. Uh, you'll see somebody uh, being pulled up out of a car wreck, you know, up a, a cliff or something on TV. But what it is, is it keeps it from being a slip knot where it would, you know, clench up against somebody. And the way you do that is simple enough. Take your line and make a loop. And the loop has got to go over, okay, like that. And there's an old saying, and it, it, it works well if you can remember it. The rabbit comes out of the hole, around the tree, and back into the hole. And that won't slip. See how that is? You could also use that around the side of the trailer to start your rope. And the last one is called the alpine knot and this is a super handy knot what you do is you take your your rope a couple of fingers and wrap three loops okay take the in the middle loop or the inside loop and pull it around like that Say you had a, uh, this, this can be done for a couple of different reasons. Say you needed a rope ladder, make that large enough for your foot, put another one up another foot, another foot, and you can climb up this relatively easily. Or say you had a, uh, a little bit of a damage in your rope and you still needed to use that rope temporarily. You could isolate the damaged part in the alpine knot and the rope will still be strong. Okay, but the reason I like to use it is once I secure my load on my trailer, I want to cinch it down and I use the alpine knot for mechanical advantage. See, I'm going to use it just as if it were a pulley and pull real hard and bring that load uh, tight with my rope and then tie it off probably with a clove hitch. All right, I'll catch you on the next one.